Hello, Wachanili, good morning. We're going to cook today for first time. We were going to cook sardines, guinea-sang sardinas for our breakfast. And we have here four giant hot dogs. We were going to cook and first put here manteca. We had here a can of sardines. Medyo takot po siya magluto kasi first time po niya humarap sa ka sa lutuan. You start with the Shaboy. garlic. Garlic? Oh. See? You don't know how to cook? Mm, I can cook. You just don't like my cooking. I don't burn it. Okay. You have to... Oh, I need a nonstick. Yes, you can do that. Scratch it? It's okay. See, you don't know how to cook. Yeah, I don't I don't scratch my pan, nonstick pan with a metal. Okay. Weird, diba? <laughs> Skinny some sardinas. Sa umaga. Angeline. Mm, you smell Jaya. the aroma. Mmm. <laughs> First time namin mag almusa ng sardinas na sa umaga. The aroma of the garlic. Try lang. No more vampires. Huh? Oh, what or this zombies. One? This one. This okay. one next. Garlic is supposed to get rid of zombies. Zombies and vampires. Yeah. Now? Yeah, you're gonna burn garlic. And onion. Oh. Mm, don't want to scratch the non-stick surface with a metal utensil. That's the first thing you got to remember. Don't use metal, but she said it's okay. I smell the onion. Smell the garlic. Oh. How's your hot dog? Here. I put a little Here? water in the half dog. Ah. And a little oil on me and we have uh, oil to and it boil. Water. Oh. Ah. You smell it. Oh, the aroma. Huh? I guess you gotta keep stirring it for it don't burn. The oh, what's this? Pepper. Oh, pepper? Not so much. A little pepper? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the pepper with the onion and the garlic. A little bit. So that it will go into a little taste. Just tell me when to stop. Yeah, that's it. Okay. See? He's on training now how to cook sardines guinea Sardine guinea Ah. Weird about, but he he don't like eating this kind of food. For him, it's already a uh, weird. That's because I don't eat very much meat. Now, if I'm forced to eat meat, yeah, for survival, I'll do that. But since I have a choice in this world, why do I want to eat fatty foods? Uh, it's bad for your inside of your body. Fatty foods like pork. Oh. We're gonna pour this one in now because the garlic is already burned. Sardines and my garlic is not burned. See sardines. Ooh. It's a typical Filipino uh, food. Food for the poor like us. No. <laughs> the usually breakfast egg, whatever fancy breakfast. We have breakfast that what we could think. That's it. No picking. Right. No more Arctic. Not only. Gonna put a little water. Boy, everybody eats it no matter if you're rich or poor. No. Why we put water? So we have to clean up the con the can. Or no the waste. juices. No waste. Did you know that the juices? Oh, the juices? 
You use it for your rice, put it over the top of your rice. Yeah. So your rice is not dry. I think it's good if we put some two scumbag egg. You want some uh, salt? egg? Oh. A, a pinch of salt. Not too much salt because boy, food has already salt inside the food. If you put too much food of salt while you're cooking, it might not be good for some people. I'm going to get two eggs for additional now, special for the guinea sauce of this week. Egg? I do not. Ah, we're getting two eggs for this now. But if people want salt, they can add it to the amount of salt they desire. Okay. Sometimes when chefs cook, they add too much salt and you can't take it out now. It's stuck. It's stuck in the food. So if you add just a little, little bit of salt, if you're going to eat your food, huh, you can add the, just the right amount of salt that you want to put on eggs. your food. Eat dog. Ooh, eat dog. Two eggs, the left and the right. Now, she's going to clunk, clunk, clunk it. Always put it in a bowl to check if it's a good egg or not. Before you put it in your food, you might get a baluk egg, a See? rotten egg. Is it good? How smell it? It's okay. Oh, there we go. Just wait for it. You already put pepper salt, pepper, salt, onion, garlic, simple gisa gisa. Onion, garlic. Say the word gisa gisa. Huh? Gisa gisa. Bita bita. Gisa. Bita. Gisa. Ah, gisa. Gisa means saute. Ah. English. Gisa means saute. Tagalog 101. Ah, uh, 101. 101. 101. <laughs> And Here we go. Scramble, sardine. For um, for breakfast, you can't go wrong with this. This is the way Philippine people eat food. They love to eat food. Oh, see? You stare it and stare it. And you know what? Philippines are all over the country, all over the world. And they enjoy food. I think a lot of people in this world enjoy food. If it's good food. I have to be skilling there. Boy, you're looking like scrambled eggs. It's, yeah, it's looking like scrambled eggs. It's going to be like that, but it's okay. Ah. Uh, look, it's almost like a scrambled egg. You scrape it on the side. Don't turn down the heat. Uh, too much heat. We have a blinky so light over here. <laughs> I think it's the power outage from the cold, cold weather all over the world. Yeah. Okay. We're in the Philippines. It's not that cold. But so in the United first States, time ever numbing. Nagloto. But in the United okay, States, there. in the United States, they're having a cold spell of weather, and they're blaming the blinky lights on the cold spell. But he already done his breakfast. I already eat my breakfast. What are you cooking for? You. Because his breakfast always is peanut butter or scrambled sandwich. egg. And then eggs, scrambled eggs, it's sometimes like in a hot dog, sometimes sausage. But he did not eat rice, he did not eat fish. Well, see, that's so a different we, story. We have a hard time challenging about uh, fish for, the, for him. I, I, don't push, I mm -hmm. didn't push too much. I won't tell you the story about rice. I won't tell you that story about when I was in war. 
Okay, I won't go in that direction right now, okay? What's going on, Justin? It's getting trampled. It's okay, that's how it looks. Oh, see? Like that. <laughs> Scrambled sardine omelet. It's a guinea sardine. Guinea sardine. Sardine. Okay, we have this. It's getting ready. Oh, look, it's brown. The water is already uh, gone. It's only a little mantica or oil only left. I'll show the water evaporates. Ah, amazing. I always do water and mantica oil so that the hot dog will go to be cooked. In a boiling water first, and then it's gonna end up with a little mantica. Look, brown, golden brown color, bubbly. Oh, look, and getting bigger. I sliced it straight down. Why you slice it? So we get it, uh, the, it will go into cook through inside. Ah, so the juices go in and cook better? Ah, that's why you sliced it. I got it. This one is already brown. How about yours over there? I don't know. I don't know if it's done. That's up to you. I think it's already done. You're the chef. You cook more already than I do. Good. This is the professional chef. Professional, no. It's a professional mother and <laughs> that too. a wife. And professional and wife, professional chef, simple food. professional mommy. And that one is already done. Did you know a mommy's See, job? Things. A mommy's job is never done. A mommy, a wife, cook, uh, everything, everything. Oh my God. Sardines. Ah. Show them your sardines. And Let's me. eat. Oh. And that's our going to be our breakfast. S uh, subscribe, like, share, and subscribe our channel. This is only our flex for cooking our breakfast a simple way but it's a little bit awkward thank you for watching and see you our next video again and the challenge of guinea sardines is done first time ever bye